All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you boop, with a little Ligeti vlog outside. <laughs> so yeah, I decided to just take a walk and uh, talk to you guys about some things, give you guys an update on me, and uh, just kind of ramble on about YouTube gripes, things like that. So um, before I begin though, I do have to mention that I'm trying a new setup with my GoPro. I have a new little uh, clip-on mic here, the Audio-Technica AT9910, for those of you wondering. So, uh, trying it out, seeing how it sounds, and uh, as, as of this recording, I don't have a windscreen for it yet, so if there is wind noise, I do apologize, but uh, I'll be getting a windscreen for it soon, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, um, yeah, just to fill you guys in on what's been going on in my life lately, uh, I recently had an infection that I was getting over. Um, I'm on antibiotics and stuff like that. I'm still on antibiotics until the end of this week. And, uh, you know, it's been kind of hampering my progress on just doing stuff, really, because, I don't know, for some reason they're just making me really tired and kind of loopy. So, but I decided to, you know, get out of the house, get out of the apartment, make a little video, just walking around, getting some fresh air and stuff like that and uh, just talk to you guys. So, like I said, I have had an infection, and you know, I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty because it's kind of gross, but you know, I had an infection somewhere, <laughs> I'm not gonna mention, and uh, the doctors drained out the abscess, and I've had to go in for uh, daily suture changes, dressing changes, whatever you wanna call it, and uh, it's been a very painful experience, and. Like I said, I've been on antibiotics all week and I'm gonna be finishing them up at the end of this week. So they just they just make me really tired and kind of loopy. So I haven't really been able to work or do anything for the past week. So yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm on my way back to uh, full health. I'm not 100% yet, but I'm getting there, so. Yeah, but anyway, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. So, I posted something on Facebook a while ago, just kind of airing out some grievances about YouTube. And it's not really about YouTube itself, it's just where I stand in YouTube. And every once in a while I get in these little moods. Just cause, you know, I've been doing this whole YouTube thing for almost 10 years now at the time of this recording. And uh, I'm always, I always feel like I should be at a certain level or, you know, just kind of be at a certain spot, especially considering how long I've been doing it. And it just seems like, you know, no matter how awesome videos I make and stuff like that, and I feel awesome in making those videos, you know, it just seems like I'm talking to a brick wall a lot of the times, you know, and, uh, yeah, I just kind of look at my subscriber count, and I'm very thankful to you guys for subscribing, by the way. This is by no means a knock on you guys. This is just, you know, me kind of being frustrated with the lack of new subscribers. You know, every once in a while I get like a onesie, twosie kind of thing, but it's not, you know, it's, it's constant, but it's not, you know, a large amount of subscribers. And so I get kind of bummed about that, you know, it's like, make all these new videos and I promote them and you know I make comments on other people's videos saying you know hey I did something similar check it out you know stuff like that and you know it, it, uh, there's a lot more to YouTube than just simply hitting record on a camera putting it up on the site and then bam video <laughs> there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that goes on and some people do that I've done it a couple times but uh, you know like I said there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that goes on you know just making sure the, the, uh, the audio is right, maybe changing the lighting a little bit, cropping out a lot of the ums and ahs, and things like that, and uh, <laughs> stuff like that. And also, you know, once the video is up, you gotta market it, you gotta, you know, get it out there, promote it, you know, let people know, because <laughs> if nobody knows, then they're not gonna watch it, so, you know, there's that side of the thing too, and, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of a lot of time and effort and energy goes into you know making videos, and you know I used to get satisfaction from the uh, video making process, and I still do. I still still do get 
you know, some satisfaction in not only recording the video like I'm doing now, but also editing the video, tweaking it just right, you know, putting in music and making sure the, uh, the background music is just right. It's not too loud, but it's not too quiet. And it doesn't like clash with my vocals, like the speaking portion. <laughs> it's not song here. But, uh, you guys know what I mean. But yeah, you know, I, I put in all this time and effort for making videos and I put it out there. And you know, like I said, I do get satisfaction from putting it out there and releasing it, you know, making the video public and be like, ah, I did it. <laughs> but, you know, to me, YouTube is always, you know, YouTube is a social network. And <laughs> one of the, uh, the definition of a social network is interaction. And, you know, lately I haven't really been getting too much interaction, not, not too much comments or personal messages or anything. So, you know, it feels like I'm talking to a brick wall a lot of the times, you know. And uh, I, I think that to me is the satisfying part is, you know, yeah, I, I get satisfaction from releasing the video and all that stuff, but it's also just the interaction between me and you guys, you know? <laughs> I want to hear what you guys have to say and, you know, maybe add on my little two cents to the conversation or something like that and just kind of see where it goes from there. And uh, I haven't been really getting that a lot lately. And uh, yeah, it just kind of makes it frustrating, you know? And then, you know, once, some, once you don't get that, and you know, every once in a while I get like uh, the, uh, the good job, you know, the little YouTube equivalent of a golf clap, you know, clap, clap. You know good job, Andy, great video, awesome. You know, but eh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm just at a crossroads, you know, what, you know, I just wanna like ask you guys, like, what should I do, you know? Because I do have a lot of good ideas for YouTube, and I've been doing a lot of, you know, different interesting things, or at least I think they're interesting, I don't know. You know, I've been doing the whole Let's Play thing on my Andy Cade channel, which uh, links and stuff will be either in the boopity boop down below or in the sidebar, whatever the sidebar is. <laughs> I always forget in this camera. Anyway, um, yeah, I've just been doing, doing a lot of good stuff putting a lot of effort into making videos. But I think the one thing, just from looking at all the uh, the, the how-to guides on being a YouTube superstar and other such things that you find online, you know, a lot of them talk about consistency and, uh, you know, just marketing your channel as like a one-note thing. And I see where they're coming from, but I just... I, I don't know, I kind of hate that idea. Because it's like, you know, then you're just going to be known as the blank guy. You know, for me, when I joined the Navy, you know, I started making NFAX, which was Navy Frequently Asked Questions. And I would, I would take questions from guys who would send me personal messages, send me stuff in the comments. And it kind of ballooned into this thing. You know, I got a lot of hits from that. And that's where I got my initial boost of subscribers because before that I was only like maybe 100 200 or so subscribers that's what I had at the time and uh, once I joined the Navy and started doing NFAX it just kind of grew and uh, you know after a while like I like doing this series but after a while it just kind of comes to a point where it's like you're just kind of fishing the bottom of the barrel for questions and there's only so many videos that you can do telling people what boot camp was like. And I've been out of boot camp for uh, so many years. And uh, it's just, you know, the info that I would put out just wouldn't have been all that helpful to people looking to join. You know, so it's just like I had to just kind of stop it, really. Every once in a while I put out an occasional video or so, but. Uh, for the most part I just stopped it and plus I was getting tired of all the haters you know <laughs> they they tend to uh, creep up in those kinds of videos you know a lot of the the old you know grumpy vets who are like back in my day we didn't do it like that you fucking pussies Brr. you know stuff like that I, I was getting kind of tired of that too so you know, I just kind of did my own thing talked about you know, did travel videos, did unboxings, 
um, did videos here in Japan, which <laughs> I don't know, like I kind of thought that, you know, I'd get more success from doing the J-Vlog videos, which is, you know, doing these, the J-Vlog stuff, I, you know, is, is what I dreamed of doing, you know, back when J-Vlogging first took off back in, you know, 2006, 2007. You know, I'd always dreamed of coming out here to Japan and just just talking about Japan, showing off different things. You know, oh, look at that. That's so cool, you know? And uh, stuff like that. And I just had my heart set on it. And that's, that's one of the reasons I started my uh, Life in Video series was just to do something along the lines of what J-Vlog videos were at the time, but uh, set in wherever I was, you know, back in Ohio, San Diego, Chicago, wherever, you know. So when I came out here, I kind of had a, uh, a system set up, you know. I had a, had a rhythm, I had a format, and uh, it was just really easy for me to do. So, you know, it, when I first got out here, it was just like every weekend, I would always kind of brainstorm, okay, what do I want to do this weekend? Where do I want to go? And, you know, there was a lot of stuff in a lot of older videos that I would get really excited about, you know. Oh, I'm gonna go here because, you know, Tokyo Kuni went here. Or I'm gonna go here because Roger Swan went here. And, you know, it'll be awesome. And it was awesome. But, you know, after a while, you kind of fall out of the honeymoon phase, as a lot of uh, long-term expats call it, where, you know, Japan stops becoming this mystical, magical wonderland and starts becoming a real, actual place. And don't get me wrong, it's still it's still a great place to live. You know, I still I find a lot of uh, comfort and stuff in living here. But it just you kind of lose that that curiosity and just that wonder and that sense of motivation for doing the uh, the videos and stuff. And uh, just kind of, eh. <laughs> you know, it just become everything just kind of becomes normal. It's basically stuff that I would have you know, whipped out my camera and be like, oh my God, I'm gonna make a video about this. I'm just looking at it now like, eh, so what? Been there, done that. I've seen Victor do it a bajillion fucking times. Whatever. <laughs> so I've been rambling on for quite some time, about 13 minutes or so. At least the raw cut of this is. It'll probably be less than that, but who knows? But anyway, I just wanna end this video asking you guys, you know, what should I do? Should I, you know, just, continue doing my thing or try something new or you know stick with being the Japan guy or the Navy guy or something like that and uh, I don't know just I, I look forward to you know hearing from you guys in the comments you know I, I really miss miss that interaction with you guys so with that said this is the Andy san it's not for now thinking you guys, as always, for uh, watching this video, however rambly it may be, and uh, watching my other stuff. Also want to thank you guys for uh, liking, the thumbs, commenting, and subscribing. Also sending a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.